Hi guys I know you must heard of Realme True X Pro. Depending where you are watching from you've heard all about Realme, or you've never heard of Realme, before their first firm, launched in India only for just over, $100 and it was insane value but since, then they've branched into more global, and more premium territory by upgrading, Realme X2 Pro it is the highest end, firm the company's ever made and on, paper it's really something in the box, as well as the pill case and below the, smartphone you get a pretty standard, used cable what is super, impressive here, is the charger more on this in a minute, so whilst using this phone there have, been, I guess you'd call this moments, of surprise the first word specs and, bear in mind when I say this we're, talking about a phone that starts at 399, euros so, 350 pounds in the UK, or 450, dollars and for that there's the, Snapdragon 855 plus chip the best you, can get right now with a 50 watt super, volt flash charger that's twice the, power of the one on the Note 10 plus oh, yeah add to that 5 cameras including, a 64 megapixel sensor and a 90 hertz, fluid display it even has a lot of the, things that are usually skipped when, trying to cut the price like a dual, speaker setup the ability to take ultra, steady video recording and even, super fast UFS 3.0 storage if you go for, the higher storage models that's a lot, of stuff and I almost thought the price, was a typo because with small phones, there's usually some sort of catch so I, unboxed it I used it I really pushed the, phone to see if it was jacked, specifications, translated to a great, real world experience and the results, from this were the second surprising, thing so the first thing I did was plug, but when I had and it was super good with his new, iPhone 11 Pro Max, partially because he, could charge in under 2 hours this, phone the Realme X2 Pro and my, testing of fully charged in 33 minutes, 0 to 100 and it's not even a, small battery of 4000 milliamp, hours build wise it's pretty much bang, on what you come to expect from a $500, phone these days metal needs blast in a, smooth body with a curved back for extra, group they're not tried anything crazy, with the design like they have with past, devices pretty plain looking and most, lighting conditions but then it comes to, life if you shine a direct source on it, my one gripe with the body is just, the transition from the side to the, friend of the phone is a little sharp not, a deal breaker and I do like the gold, accents on the power key and around the, primary 64 megapixel camera it's really all about what's on the inside though because as i started to use it one thing became clear in order to hit the price like this we only have had to make some difficult decisions as to the things that are important in the phone and the things that are less important and thankfully generally i agree with their decisions there are compromises but they feel like smart ones for example the camera system is pretty close to top here you get a quad camera including a 2x telephoto lens as well as an ultra, wide and for the main camera it's using, Samsung's new ISO cell bright GW1 sensor, and the resulting shots are more, detailed than those from a Galaxy Note, and plus if you look outside the window here, you can see that after taking a photo, the X2 Pro also applies some pretty, solid HDR it's not the best but decent, the ultra steady video on the other hand, reduces quality and it's not the most, effective solution, but the main 4K video, is good plus you can take 5 times optical hybrid zoom photos and in low light it's about as good as other, $500 phones and this right here should, give you an idea of the phone's internal, microphone audio quality this is often, overlooked but I think it's really, important also speed this phone is top, tier processing meets fluid 90Hz, display and you might already know that is a combination not to be, underestimated he's being too cute I, can't get rid of him the 90s display, feels more responsive than the 60 hertz, on most in the FS3 storage means, wicked load times I pulled up my call of, duty mobile account on this phone and, really really good experience the audio, the screen but more importantly the, graphics I was able to display whilst, keeping a solid frame rate the phone's, liquid cooling system is pretty good it, still gets warm but nothing alarming, even the Wi-Fi is awesome here in some, rooms of the house I was getting to, times plus the speed of my Samsung, there's a 4x4 minor antenna for, stable signal again this is something we, tend to see on flagships for example the, iPhone XS has for the iPhone XR has, too so I already mentioned that really, have clearly spent some time deciding, what things are less important, telephone so what's missing here well, coming from the Galaxy has 10, 5 grams which, was around $1200 at launch the biggest, 
compromise I noticed was display to give credit even this is far from bad on the real me it's a 6.5 inch super mole display supporting HDR 10 plus brightness is similar and both even automatically filter out blue light to reduce ice rain is just that Samsung's gazelles are narrower and I prefer the hole punch over a notch thus her taking one look at the iPhone 11 situation and real me actually starts to look pretty good you don't get wireless charging and IP rating or micro SD card supporting the phone is still on Android 9 but the 10 update is coming and I wouldn't say those things are deal breakers for me I was also happy to see they have retained the headphone jack the haptic engine on phone 4 vibration and feedback it's not great but it's also not bad and that's pretty much it having seen the price having seen the specs I was on the hunt for compromises but there really aren't many one thing I would say is that whilst with most phones the base model the standard variant is the best value and the one to go for with this you might want to creep up to the 128 gig model for an extra 50 euros I just don't think the 64 gig base storage is quite enough in 2019 plus with the more expensive models year not just getting more storage but faster storage the dual speakers are loud sounded great plus they also support high res and Dolby Atmos sound the fingerprint sensor covers a larger area than past generations and it's fast but actually the face scanner even faster and it works some pretty obtuse angles so a lot of time by the time you've picked it up and you've turned the screen on it's unlocked you've also got NFC for Google Pay and on a final note the software skin is ColorOS the real me was initially launched as a sub-brand of Oppo and even though they're independent now a lot of Oppo technologies and software remain so yeah that is the real me x2 pro and it feels like as much of a surprise as the hot phone f1 did last year it's an affordable phone stacked with specs and even if we assume you're paying an extra 50 euros for the highest storage model it is still easily some of the best value we've seen all year the company actually has an entire range of smart